Hi everyone, this video walks through completing Packet Tracer Assignment 7.3.2.9 Troubleshooting IP Version 4 and IP Version 6 Addressing. This Packet Tracer Assignment is a part of the Cisco RNS Introduction to Networks Curriculum, Version 6 Curriculum. Now this lab assignment walks us through troubleshooting some issues with IP version 4 and IP version 6. So usually with troubleshooting, you know, we kind of try to start at making sure everything's plugged in correctly to the right port numbers, making sure that all the addressing is set up correctly. Here we've got IP version 6 and IP version 4, and some devices are actually running both called dual stack. Okay, so we're going to start with our um, tickets here that we've got. It says that we're unable to access the dual stack server.pka web page. Okay, so does the computer have an IP address using IP config? Yes. Well, let's just double check. When you get a help desk ticket, or we're going to go to command prompt for this, um, sometimes you want to double check what the user submits. So to view that, we would do IP config, okay, and we get our information here. So it says that we've got our. Um, and you can do IP config forward slash all, that would be more helpful. Um, we can see our IP address, and we want to double check it based off of what's up here for PC1. Okay, so we've got 10.1.2, uh, that is correct. 255.255.255.0, that is correct. And then we want a default gateway of 10.10.1.1, that is correct. So that's basically PC1 talking to this uh, G. 0, 0 interface on R1. Okay, so let's try to ping our default gateway. Ping 10.1, I'm sorry, 10.1.1. We get our reply. So that means that PC1 can talk to R1. And that also probably means that R1, if we hover over it, is, or let's go to show run. G00, it does have that set correctly. So, and it's up, so we're good there. Okay. Now, let's look at some other information in our IP config forward slash all. We have a um, DNS server set, okay? DNS basically resolves our words, our URLs that we type in to an IP address somewhere. And it should be, DNS server should be 64.100.1.254. We've got 64.100.1.1. That is incorrect. So let's exit out of here and fix that under IP configuration. We need to change that to dot 254. Okay. And we see we get 33 points for that. So that kind of helps there. Now to access that web page, if we click on the web browser on PC1, we should be able to type in that address. Hit enter and voila. One machine to serve them all, dual stack server. Before that would have not came up. Okay. So I'm going to break it just to show you right quick. Let's go back to dot one. Probably something I should have showed you beforehand. So 64.100.1.254. Well, I guess it just needs to re it probably I, once it got that um, fixed. Oh, sorry. That's dot one. Dot 254. I probably have to exit all the way back out and come back in, but that's okay. It's dot one dot 254 is our uh, DNS server, okay? And we should be able to ping that. So if we go from here to here, it says successful, okay? Now let's do PC2. Let's look at it. It says that PC2 can, it does have information, so let's go view, verify that. IPv six config and let's do a forward slash all okay um, we get our IPv6 address here we want to verify that that's correct with this information up here um, and we see 2001 colon db8 colon 1 colon 1 colon colon 2 forward slash 64 fe80 colon colon 1 that's all right. Now let's do an IP config forward slash all because it's also running IP version 4. We want to make sure this information is correct. We see the <clears throat> IP address is correct, the subnet mask is correct, and the DNS server is also correct. Okay, for PC2. But we notice what is missing the default gateway. 
the IP version 4 default gateway for PC2 should be 192.168.0.1, which is the IP address of G01 that is connected to right here. So we need to back out of here, go to IP configuration, and put that address in here because it has to know how to get to that default gateway or that, IP, that, that interface on the router. Okay, So we need to put that in there. Okay, so now I want to make sure it can talk to the dual stack and we're good. All right, before it would not have been able to do that because we wouldn't, we would not have even been able to contact R1. The last one, let's look at PC3. This one's only IPv6. Okay, so we've got FE8 zero colon colon one for the link local we've got <clears throat> 2001 colon db8 colon one colon two colon colon two <clears throat> forward slash 64 <clears throat> excuse me so we've got that set correctly okay now let's try pinging our r1 interface okay so if we did our default gateway for r1 here it'd be this we could try pinging that. And you see we get a reply, so that means that PC3 can talk to R1, so it's basically getting from here to there. Well, that's showing failed, but we know it's working because we got it here. And this probably, and, and two, this pings on a IP version 4 level, so that's okay. So we are getting it here correctly, okay? But let's see if we can ping our dual stack. So ping 2001 colon db8 colon cafe colon 1 colon colon 10 <clears throat> and you'll notice something we are not getting a reply here our requests are timing out um, I would let this continue running out that's four pings because sometimes it fails three times and it'll start up on that last one but this one is going to fail and it's because we have an issue with our configuration PC3 was right R1's interface was right but let's look at the dual stack <clears throat> its information for all of this is correct. Our IP version 4 stuff is working beautifully. Okay, Our IP version 6 stuff, however, is not because we're working all on IPv6. We notice here that that's supposed to be an A based off of this information right here. <clears throat> okay, And that will give us 100 out of 100. So you kind of see the difference um, when you're running both protocols at the same time. Um, one PC can, if you do just ping, it'll ping the IP version 4 address. It doesn't necessarily mean the IPv6 is working and vice versa. So you have to really identify which addressing you're using in troubleshooting both uh, or on a network where you've got both protocols actually running.